All right, so this video is going to go over replacing these three components for your Y-axis belt um, to kind of create a, a sturdier pulley system there. People were saying they've had some anomalies with these uh, stock pieces, so they thought maybe putting beefier pieces in here would, would help, so I'm giving this a go. Uh, as far as removing it, the first thing I did was took the two bolts off this motor mount back here to release tension on everything. Then I removed this pulley up here, and then I removed the belt mount here. Um, for assembly, I first mounted my Y-axis motor here, and then on the front, I only mounted this mounting plate here. I did not put this piece into place just yet because you're going to want to thread the belt through there. Um, so I threaded the belt through there, and then um, to mount the belt in this holder here, there's just two grooves. All your adjustments are done up there, so it doesn't look like this with the bolts. You're going to have your belts that slide in there. You kind of have to if you line up one edge first and then drop it in, it's easier doing it that way, I found. And I've got a picture there. The uh, bottom the bottom groove is for the belt coming from the back. The top groove is from the belt coming from the front. And I believe it was the bottom belt came almost right up to the edge. And this top belt was one notch back in those grooves. I've got a picture there I'll, I'll put up. Um, but what I found for assembly was... Um, you got your back mount put on, your front mount, you got your belt threaded through this piece. And uh, once you get that belt put into this piece, you have it hanging off, um, you're going to want to put that cap on. And what I did then is uh, I mounted this piece here. And one thing I did that was helpful. All right, not sure why I stopped my recording there, but apparently I didn't restart it. So I'm just going to talk about this picture here. Um, at that point, uh, I had the bed taped into place is what I was going to mention is this blue piece of painter's tape on the right. Just put a piece of tape on the bed and then pull it onto the control panel. But you want to basically move that bed to the most forward position. It's a lot easier just to have it there to work on that bottom belt mount. Um, so I had my uh, my belt mount in place. I had, I had the belts put into the grooves, the belt mount in place. Um, again, I had one notch open. You'll see that picture I just had there. And I didn't have the cover in place, but at that point I had mounted the front pulley with those four screws just far enough where there was, um, the bolt was mostly into the nylock nut. It was just barely engaging that nylon at the end that locks it by half a turn. And so at that point I'm like, okay, I, this feels like it's good tension on the belt. I need to test this. I was going to put that cap on the, the, the uh, belt mount, but the problem is it's, it's kind of cumbersome to slowly turn it with those screws because you have to... Um, access it from the side there so what I did to drive those 14 millimeter screws through and into the hex nuts instead was I I disconnected the uh, the front pulling mount there I, I, I unscrewed all four screws so that would come out and then I took that belt mount off the bottom of the bed my, my belts were in in the mount just fine but I just need to put that cap on and that was a lot easier to use my handheld uh, hex hex driver um, it's like a small drill just to quickly mount that plate on there, drive those 14 millimeter screws in. And at that point I put the belt holder back on the bed. I put the puller holder back in the mount, the pulley holder back on the front. And I engaged those screws again, just half a turn into the nylock felt like I had decent tension on the belt. So I put it back in my enclosure. I, I fired it up and, and did the belt test and I was at 269. The values on the Prusa website are between 260 and 290 is where they want to see that tension. And they've got a note there for 275. I guess that's the sweet spot. Um, so being at 269 or 271, it was one of those values that I was at. I was good. But at that point, I was a little concerned that I only had half a turn going into the end of the nut where the nylon is. So I swapped those 16 millimeter screws out with 18 millimeter screws. And then I got full purchase going all the way through that nut. And on the back side of that nut, the hole continues for the screw all the way through that mount. So you've got some room there. Even I think I checked out 20 millimeter screws and they were they would be almost too long. Um, they wouldn't allow you to tighten down enough to give tension and not hit that front plate. So 18 millimeters seem to uh, fit nicely in there. Um, at that point, I was good to go. The one thing I did, um, I want to mention too, and uh, you've got four screws there that you're mounting this pulley with, and you want to make sure all four of them are equal distance or equal depth. And so I used a feeler gauge and walked around all four gaps and made sure that those were even. Then I checked my belt tension again, and I had to tighten it, I think just a touch. And so I went all around all four screws and you know did like an eighth turn or quarter turn or whatever. But I knew at that point, that that pulley mount was squared up 
with the front face of the chassis. And so my pulley wouldn't be tweaked this way or that way. Um, and then finally, after that, I ran the XYZ calibration because I did work on that, uh, that, that Y axis just to make sure that the system, I don't know if the bump stops were any different depth or whatnot or how that works, but I just ran the calibration to make sure that um, that was good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked. This is a lot easier to adjust in the future, just right there from the front instead of getting under that belt, especially having it in an enclosure. So I felt this was worth my time. Um, it's supposed to improve print quality a touch and maybe make it not as noisy with that back mount, having all three pieces in here. Um, so I felt like it was worth my time and I hope this video was useful. Have a good one.